In this video, on the modern adaptation of the historical Byzantine bookbinding style, I will demonstrate how to sew the two halves of the book together. As mentioned, you will need to ensure that the threads at the end of each half are on opposite sides of the book from each other. To start, Stack the two halves on top of each other. Take the thread from whichever half that you are using on the needle. And you will begin by working in the half opposite the side the thread came from. You will go underneath the centermost stitch on that half from the center of the book towards the outside edge, like so. And then you will cross underneath the stitch that you just made. It is helpful to separate the book halves just a little here, underneath that stitch. And you will go underneath the centermost stitch on the half of the book that the thread came from. You will then take your needle underneath these stitches that you have just made through the center of the book, where it splits. From the outer edge towards the center. And we move on to the next station. Again, you will start on the half of the book that the thread did not come from. In my case, that is the darker half of the book, rather than the lighter half, because I am working with the lighter thread. I use two colors of thread to make this easier to see, but that is not strictly a historic practice. So once again, we will work from the center of the book towards the edge that we started from, or opposite the direction that we're going. And we will go underneath this centermost stitch on that half of the binding. And then we will do a sort of figure eight where we will do the same thing in the centermost stitch on the half of the book that the thread came from, in my case the lighter half. And again, we will go opposite the direction of travel, like so. We will then go underneath the long stitch connecting the two stations. And then underneath the stitch we made, the figure eight stitch, that connects the two halves of the book together. That stitch. And this time we will be working in the direction of travel. Pull top and move to the next station. You will repeat the same thing on this station. So you will start on the half of the book the thread did not come from, in my case the darker half, and you will work opposite the direction of travel. You will cross over to the side of the book that the thread did come from, in my case the lighter side, and do the same thing. You will go underneath the centermost stitch, working opposite the direction of travel. You will then go underneath the long stitch, connecting the stations, and then underneath the stitch, connecting the two halves of the book. 
and this time you will go in the direction of travel. On the last station, the pattern changes slightly. In this case, we will start with the half of the book that the thread came from, and again, we will go under the centermost stitch opposite the direction of travel. And then we will cross over to the other side and do the same thing. We will go under the centermost stitch opposite the direction of travel. From here you have two choices. Either way, you will end up threading both threads through the hole in the last most centermost gathering of the side the thread that you used to join the books did not come from. Your choice is whether you start the knot on the outside of the book or on the inside. I choose to start the knot on the outside of the book. So I will tie it once for a small amount of added structure. The downside is it does produce a small disruption in the pattern of the stitching. And then you will find the centermost gathering of the half of the book that the thread that you used to join them did not come from, and you will feed your needle in from the outside to the inside of the gathering, remove the thread from the needle, make sure you pull the thread all the way in, and then I find it easiest to thread the other half onto the needle and use the needle to thread it through the same hole in the gathering. Like so. And then remove it from the needle and tie a knot. You may do a simple square knot or more or the slightly more complicated surgeon's knot. Double check that the threads are taut and then trim your loose threads close to the knot. If need be, go back and trim any loose threads from the knots where you started the sewing. And you have completed this modern adaptation of the historic Byzantine style bookbinding, characterized by the sewing of the separate halves of the book that are joined together in the middle. I hope you enjoyed 